Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about expressing the outcome in a simple experiment in words, symbols, tables, or graphs, and explaining the outcomes in an experiment. Let's play a spinning wheel, watch and observe. The outcome of the simple experiment can be expressed in words, symbols, tables, or graphs. In our example, we express it in a table. In the table, it uses the elements in the spinning wheel 100, 200, 300, and 500, the tally, and the frequency. There are a total of 10 trials in the experiment as we add the frequency. The experimental probability of getting 100 is given by this formula. EP or experimental probability of 100 is equal to number of times favorable outcomes occur divided by number of trials in the experiment. The number of times favorable outcomes occur, as we see in the table, is 4. And for the number of trials in the experiment, is 10. So, 4 and 10 can be reduced to its lowest term by dividing both numerator and denominator by 2. So, 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. Therefore, the experimental probability of getting 100 is 2 fifth. If we look at the spinning wheel, the probability of getting 100 is given in the formula below. P of 100 or probability of 100 is equal to Number of favorable outcomes divided by number of possible outcomes. So, for the number of favorable outcomes, we have 4. It is because we have 4 100 in our spinning wheel. 1, 2, 3, 4. For the number of possible outcomes, the answer is 8. Because we have 8 elements in our spinning wheel. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 4, 8 can be reduced to its lowest term by dividing both numerator and denominator by 4. So, 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1. 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2. Therefore, the probability of getting 100 is 1 half. Probability or theoretical probability is what we expect to happen, where experimental probability is what actually happens when we try it out. As more trials conducted, the experimental probability generally gets closer to the theoretical probability. I hope that you understand our lesson for today. 
and thank you for watching.